I, I can't get over it. I get it. it yeah. Oh, thank God. Thanks. Anyways, it's been four fucking years. I don't understand the significance behind it. She wants to go downtown, have the nicest dinner, and then go to the goddamn Prestigio. You ain't no fucking bankrupt. Hey, if we're gonna bring up the Prestigio, why don't you call the usual girls at the 413 that night instead? Oh, yeah. And we can have a bit of a boys' night, right? Yeah, and maybe they'll put the fucking gag in your mouth so my wife won't have to fucking. <laughs> no. oh, God. I'm, I'm serious though. I just don't get it. I've worked my ass off my whole life to waste it on one fucking night for the stay at home. It's bullshit. Hey, let's quit with this depressive shit. It's meant to be a night out for the boys. You're right, you're right. Hold on, hold on though. Sam, that's pretty easy for you to say. As soon as this whole Campbell deal oh, goes no through the shit, firm, man. you're essentially the golden boy in town, right? I mean, I mean, speaking of, how's that going? Well, we're hoping we finish faster than uh, Spence does on his prestigio sex date. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, hey, at least I get a finish on her tits. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, how about... We finish these, and I'll go get us some fucking shots, huh? Okay. How do you do it? How do I do what? You're talking about deals? I'm not talking about your fucking business. I'm talking about life. You have the women, you have the job, you're the fucking hero of the town. My bullshit job, I take visiting rights from good parents and money from honest people. It's been four years and I'm still not fucking used to it. God. Are we talking about this divorce court bullshit again? Listen, if we're gonna have to sit here and listen to him talk about how he took Pablo away from his daddy, then here's to Pablo, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. You're still buying the well shots. I am. Haven't changed. Still the same. Right. Oh, fuck. That's her. I gotta fucking go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, small breath. Oh, no. No, no. Fuck you. Next round's on me. I'm out. What did I just walk in on? I don't know. I think Spence has got a weird perception on what he thinks my life is. I mean, no weirder than mine, right? What do you mean? Sam, you've got, you have it. It? Yeah, I mean, it. you've got the education. You've got the girls, oh God, you've got the girls. And after this whole deal goes through, I mean, you're a made man, right? It, according to me and Spence, you're living the perfect life. Don't idolize me. <coughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'm just saying that, I, I mean, I'm not saying that you're perfect, but... But what? Look, everyone is always waiting to see what Sam does next, right? It's always been like that. You know what, it was a good night. Um, I gotta go home. You close out with that.
Do you ever feel like you're a supporting role in someone else's life? You didn't tell me you were in a movie. I guess everyone's just living secret lives. I think my life's perfect. I think I have a fancy job. My life is a disaster. I work in a fucking grocery store stocking shelves. Spence, he's got marriage issues. He has a wife. He has a car. He has a real job. At least he's happy. They're all the ones with perfect lives. I'm a fake. I'm too ashamed to say anything. I'm lying to my friends. You were far away And I Didn't ask you why